Okay. Is that coming up now? So here we are um, on uh, the 20th of March, and uh, we have 50 of our friends gathered uh, uh, talking about the preliminaries before we pray and just seeing what's happening. Now, Lorraine, what's, what's the purpose of that picture with you and Esther there sporting all those brown and reddish coloured books? She's not on, Tony. She, I just messaged her and she went, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So we'll, well, we'll be on in a minute. I think Miriam knows the answer anyway. They're um, they're the uh, he died for you books, which are just coming out. It's just coming out shortly, and uh, so that's going to be great. And I'm just about to admit a couple of other people, but um, in that particular picture that you can see there, uh, those books are now coming out. They're being printed. He died for you, and we'll have thousands of them available. So I'd like you to put your address in to uh, our, our online notice tonight, and Roger will gather up those addresses, name, address, and telephone number, uh, and we will arrange to send a supply to you. So thanks for, thanks for that. We'll probably remind you about that later on. So these are all groups around the country. Uh, you can see Cotty Thornton there and another lady talking to a gentleman somewhere in Melbourne. And you can see uh, you can see a lovely picture of Lorraine's uh, group in on the bottom page. Lorraine's always attracting groups of people. And she's got a special group from Oklahoma. Fascinating. Uh, now, that would be great to, um, to hear about, Lorraine. Can you tell us about what's happening in, in that group at the bottom of the screen? Yes, um, eight, eight young interns came from Oklahoma and they were hosted by our church. So we had the opportunity to train the girls on Tuesday morning and take them out on a campaign. And then on Saturday morning, we trained the, I, I trained the boys and we went out again. So um, they then they were only here for eight days. So it's a long way to come. Um, they flew out last night and so... But they they were really stoked with the um I, the, with the way of life. They were really happy, and they're going to take it home and do it in Oklahoma. Well, wow, wow. well, and, um, uh, and Esther's just joined us, but we'll talk to Esther in a moment. But I'm excited about that, and uh, you sent me some videos, which I've got to process yet, Lorraine. It's been a bit of a busy afternoon, but um, it's all very exciting to to hear about what's going on there. And uh, and that they were pretty stoked by it, but um, the the girls apparently took to it like ducks to water. Is that right? Um, yes, the girls listened to the training. Yeah, I, I figured that, and uh, and the boys thought they'd show you a thing or two. And what happened? <laughs> they got sworn at. They got abused. They got threatened. Oh dear. Um, yeah, they their approach wasn't quite correct. They were going out and saying. Hi, we're sharing about Jesus. Have you got a minute? Yeah. And uh, that's never the right um, approach. No, no, that's right. We say, hello, we, we, we have this little presentation called The Way of Life, which we'd love to show you, just to ask you a few questions and see what you think or words to that effect. So, that's exactly uh, what I trained the girls and that's what they did. Yes, so it just underscores the value of a bit of training, doesn't it? And look, it's yeah. just... We're just thrilled to see all those. I was going to, was going to ask. In. We'd like to get a few more from South Australia and a few more from Victoria. Steve's been very good at putting them in. And look at this. Here's Steve uh, with a group over in Melbourne. Steve Ladd, you're there. You're going to comment on that? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we were actually in Dandenong. And um, it's a very multicultural area. And uh, we were just in this very quiet street. And then all of a sudden we come to this little park area. And on this bench, there was four Sri Lankan people all sitting down. And uh, they were the four Sri Lankans. Uh, the first two, the, the boyfriend, girlfriend, they were Buddhists. Uh, the guy in the middle, he's actually a uh, Christian. And the one next to me uh, is actually Catholic. Um, and so I just, uh, we went through the, the way of life with them and explained the difference between the you know, to explain that Jesus died for Catholics, he died for Buddhists, he died for all of us. And uh, 
we didn't get any um acceptance to uh, jesus as the you know as the way but um the guy who was a christian he was obviously going to follow them up he was going to talk to them about what i'd said he was just happy that we came in from a different angle where he'd already yeah. talked to them so mm -hmm. that was good and um the other picture there with Cody was um that was our new person she was training uh uma who's actually um come up by train from the docklands to Dandenong, which is quite a long trip um and then we were then they approached this fellow there and uh, got into a discussion excellent well, well done steve and look uh, thanks for the conversations we've been having the last couple of days and the prayer and been very greatly encouraged by it all and roger you got something you want to say mary louise has told me oh i was just saying that we'll have a lot of green shirts running around in in oklahoma by the sounds of things and yes. you might have to get the america the america for jesus website up yeah, well, well they've got a oklahoma for jesus yeah, well it can be afj america for jesus still okay, just... okay well, for jesus could be, yeah yeah true yeah very good Too very true. good not a bad idea at all we're well, just moving right along we want to come to our prayer time and uh and uh just before we do roger these we'll just ask esther to read out these figures for us and we welcome esther and of course she provided some of these lovely photographs along with the rain and uh, of course there is a photograph in the top right hand corner featuring Carito who joined us earlier tonight and uh, Larry and Maria McCulley at the Bible League annual fundraising dinner at Epping in Sydney and uh, we were just delighted to be there uh, very excited always to catch up with Larry and Maria but also to meet Carito who's very active at the Blacktown uh, group but Esther you're with us and um any comment on those figures and anything else you'd like to say now that you've joined us? Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, just to this, read those figures there, you can see there's uh, the increasing. And I love the fact that we're climbing from June through uh, to December, seeing the figures there in January and February. We're seeing figures of 60s, 70s, and now 80 in Feb. And March is looking very strong at 62 as of yesterday's date, 19th of March. Through that, 2,185 campaigns, which is a remarkable effort. As always, I love to see those figures climbing and love to see everyone participating and out on the field, in the field there. Uh, some photos you see on, on the picture there for Bunbury to comment on. Actually, it's Bustleton that you see on, on site there. The advert uh, on the bottom left is for our session just gone, which was on Saturday two days ago. Uh, one of the things we started to do in Bustleton, thanks to the Pod Church, which is the People of Destiny group, they have provided um, breakfast. So we're inviting people to come along and join in for brekkie. Um, and we are having a barbecue breakfast before the actual um, session of our uh, on the streets. And yeah, campaign. see the, sorry? Campaign. Campaign, that's right, on the streets, yeah. but campaigns, the words. Um, and in the middle photo, if I may just mention, there is um, William alongside Jen. And William is one of those which Jen had spoken with last year. Uh, Jen, you're online. I don't know if you want to make any comments about that. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, yep, yep. He's been born again probably 10 times at um, my church. Now I'll find out. But yes, he was the first, uh, one of the first people I think that um, um, got born again with me out on campaign. And it was a real counselling session. Like he really unloaded all his problems of his life. And um, each time I see him now, it's um, an update on how much better he's going. So. Just praise God for William and um, he's taken a gospel of John probably twice. <laughs> Just hoping he reads it now. But um, oh, he loves the breakfast idea. He goes, read that on again. Give me a thing. Tell Alan to ring me. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, he's really been taken up really positively. And I'm so pleased to say that he's uh he made comment on having having said the prayer with you and having made that commitment, he's found a change and in, in a difference. Uh, so it, he's one of those really positive steps forward in that way. So that's great. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Uh, well, mm. praise God for that. And praise God for your all your involvement in that wonderful Bustleton Bunbury combination. It keeps reverberating all the time. 
Now, uh, we, we need to come to our prayer time now and enter that prayer room. And I asked Roger if he knew how to um, get us into prayer rooms, uh, but we've noticed we've changed our prayer room. This is the first Presbyterian church's prayer room in the United Kingdom, I think. Um, so it, it's a bit more uh, old, oldy worldy, isn't it? Don't you think? And um, but uh, we we've got a few things to pray for, haven't we? Quite a few things to pray for. Esther, do you want to take over at this point, or do you want Roger to do it? I, do I you want? Uh, are you talking about doing the breakout rooms, Roger? Are you yeah, going to do that, that yeah. or you want me to? I'd like you to. You, you okay? Uh, I'll Roger, do the Roger was sure. a backstop, but I think you probably yep. appreciate it. he's only got an iPhone to work with. Sure thing. Well, I'll create the uh, the breakout rooms, um, and then you can talk about what's on screen while I do that. Oh, okay, very good. Well, I might get Roger to go through that list of things that we thank God for, and uh, and things that are happening up the top, and then things that we'd like to see happen uh, by God's grace at the bottom with the red crosses. Thanks, Roger. Roger there. Okay, well, I might press on. Um, uh, what what are we thanking the Lord for? Well, we're thanking the Lord for all of those groups that we've seen going out over the last week or couple of weeks since we met last time. We're thanking the Lord for the 62, actually 63 campaigns. Some have, have just reports of coming in late uh, for this uh, period so far. And the fact that we're engaging Aussies of all sorts of backgrounds on the streets with the gospel. And we're finding one in five people uh, responding to those presentations, either a full or partial presentation. And many are actually praying a prayer. And here and there, we're finding people will connect with us and continue the relationship. And we thank God for them as well, as well as the fact that the others have heard the gospel uh, are going on to, uh, to meditate on that and consider the claims of Christ. And in many cases, we find that people pop up further down the track or God installs another blessing in their life that awakens them to the truth of the gospel. So we're just very, very grateful for that. Uh, we're thankful for the fact that more leaders have been coming on board, uh, particularly in Victoria and uh, elsewhere. We're thankful for the expansion of what's going on in South Australia with uh, Yvonne and with uh, Peter and their, their work together as co-laborers in, in uh, the gospel with for the Lord. And we're thankful for the fact that, uh, that um, uh, Anne Window was telling me about uh, Barley's, uh, I think, brother, who's made an opening for us in Northern Territory, more to follow there. So there's a lot to be thankful for, and there's a lot to be thankful for the many uh, Quite a few thousand people have actually prayed the sinner's prayer since we started in April 2018. And thankful for more and more interest amongst people in the churches. We even got a bit of a rap from the platform of the church I was at on Sunday. And when I went to St. Thomas's in North Sydney, uh, the rector there paid a lot of attention to what we we're doing and was actually very interested. And uh, so there's some good things happening there. But uh, Roger, are you with us yet? Roger's not with us. He must have, his phone must have dropped out. So uh, Esther, you're in a position to nominate the things we're praying for tonight? Um, I'm in a position to tell you who's uh, leading the group now. Is that... right, let's do that. And then I'll just okay. list the things that we're praying for, as well as other things that people may wish to pray for. Okay, yeah. So I've got uh, in, I've got a few rooms opened up. I'm the person I have for room one. I've got Roisin, if you're able to leave room one, that would be wonderful. Room two, I've got David Bishop. Room three, I've got Greg Rosé. Room four, if Steve Ladd can lead, that would be wonderful. Room five, Andrew Cop. Room six, Lorraine. Room seven, I'd like Ratner to do that, please. Room eight, I've got Charmaine. Room nine, I've got Jen. And room 10, I'm going to ask Gemmel to do that. So you have another screen for me to read through before we move into the breakout rooms? You're just those red items. Uh, sure. I should point out, Wavy Baptist Church is considering doing something in Victoria. St. Thomas's North Sydney is considering doing something. We just want to add those, to, list those to our prayers. And also, I haven't mentioned that, I'm going to Jarvis Bay 
uh, weekend after next uh, to um, attend the baptism of uh, two or three of my grandsons. I say two or three because one of them is still making up his mind. And um, we're, um, we're going to be uh, having the opportunity of meeting with and running a way of life campaign with the people that Andrew and Bronwyn Copper have been working with down there in uh, Jarvis Bay or Jervis Bay. So over to you, Esther, if you want to read that list of red list yep. of uh, items there. Sure thing. I'm also going to pop it into the chat um, at the moment so you can see it in the chat. So what we're going to be praying for tonight is God's protection for this ministry. We're looking for more disciples and we're wanting God's blessing on our soul winners. Of course, more labourers out in the field. There is plenty of harvest there. So as mentioned, there's the Waverley Baptist Church, the St. Thomas North Sydney, as well as there's a New South Wales election going on at the moment. Let's pray for um, the, the God's will to be done there. Uh, war zone in Ukraine, let's, let's pray for the relief of the people in that area. And for leaders in the Tasmania region, we would love to see uh, a, another area activated and we would love to pray for the right leader to take on that room and that space. So uh, thank you very much for your um, interest. Get a snapshot if you need to of what's on screen so that you know what to pray for. Otherwise, it's in the chat. I'm not sure if it will be there when I open the rooms. Okay, ready to move into the rooms then, Tony, or any other things you want to comment on? 15 minutes? Prayer yeah, 15 room, okay? Minutes. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Thanks, Esther. Okay, and you'll have 30 seconds to come back uh, in as well, so to give you time to wrap up briefly. Okay. And uh, we'll happy praying. See you all back in shortly. All yours, Tony. Recording's back on. You'll need to unmute if you're talking. I better unmute. So, uh, and Mary Louise just stepped out of the other room to tell me I was muted. So now I've got the word. Uh, so uh, we we have resources available, uh, and uh, I must apologise to Miriam and others that our um, delivery was a bit delayed last week. I've been consumed with other more besetting matters, but we are cleaning that up this week. And um, so we'll throw a few sweeteners into the orders that have been delayed. So never you mind, things will go well. Uh, later this week, we're taking delivery of thousands of copies of the He Died For You booklet, which is a bit like the, the Eternity booklet, but is aimed at the Easter message. And we'll have those to you. We'll probably get 500 off to Charmaine, 500 off to Roger, 500 off to Esther, 500 off to Roger, 500 off to Charles, 500 off to Steve. We'll probably do it like that. But uh, if you wouldn't mind sending me your best address and your mobile number on either on the chat line or on email tonight, that will help. Otherwise, we'll just take an initiative and so someone will turn up at your door with 500, if not more. So, uh, and please do let's pray for Ian Tay, who is the author of this wonderful book, uh, he reported to me today he has some health issues that um, uh, are not good. So uh, we want to be lifting him up in prayer, our dear brother Ian Tay, who has took early retirement many years ago to write these books. He's distributed, multiplied thousands across Australia. They tell a wonderful story, eternity. He died for you, the reason for the season. Uh, Muslims love Jesus. Jesus loves Muslims and so on. So uh, he's done a great job and we want to be able to be supportive of him at this time of trial where he's facing some health issues. And by the way, there's a lovely picture of um, Roger in the blue shirt there at the bottom of the screen with Anne Window. And Anne Window, are you there? If, as if you are, I would like you to pray for Ian Tay, if that's okay. Anne Window. Can't see her on. I see an Anne Rowe and a Diane, but not an Anne. Oh, there you go. She's not on. So in which case, I might ask Roger to pray for Ian Tay. Thank you. Yeah, Father, we thank you. We thank you for the faithfulness of our brother Ian Tay and the, this wonderful work he's done in, in preparing these booklets and, and communicating the gospel to thousands, if not 
millions of people in our nation, Lord, and wherever, you know, those copies are handed out or passed on. Father, we thank you, Lord, that uh, we have been able to, uh, we've been blessed by those booklets and being able to hand them out as well, Father. And we just pray for him in this in his time of need. We pray for healing. We pray for uh, that by the stripes of, the G- of Jesus, he would be healed. Father, just uh, deliver him from the sickness, disease that's in his body. Set him free. Father, we pray for a total healing of Ian in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, Roger. So as we progress to the next slide, um, some people do wonder about our various um, uh, support systems. And we have on the screen for you there some of the uh, URLs, I believe they are called. And uh, we have a AFJ videos channel on YouTube, and this will be recorded on YouTube. So this will be available to you courtesy of Martin Tuwi in the not too distant future. Um, how you can lead a way of life campaign. Uh, people who inquire about what we're doing, they can do the bring others to jesus.com.au webinar. And he goes for 56 minutes, but it's enough to give them fully informed. And then taking the gospel to the streets, that's a, a wonderful web page that people can use. And of course, the God Revolution uh, website contains 15 videos, which people progressively have sent to them. So those online resources are very useful. Now, lining up for next time we meet, and uh, we're just past nine o'clock, we want to conclude very shortly. And thanks for, for holding on. Uh, just keep in mind our goal for 10,000 soul winners across the nation. At the moment, uh, Lorraine tells me, I think that we've got about 6,500 people on our database. Um, but uh, we... we 6,795. We... Oh, there you go. I've, I've underestimated. Uh, that's a good side. Good, good that I underestimated there, isn't it? And yeah. um, thanks for that, Lorraine. I, I didn't wasn't expecting that sort of really up-to-date figure like that. So thank you very much. Now, I was doing the database. That's why I was late into the meeting. <laughs> Oh, well, I was going intent, intent on the database. That's like being late for class because you're doing your homework. So very good. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, our theme for next time we meet, which will be on the 3rd of April, which is a Monday night, two weeks time, uh, is we never give up the persistence of the faithful Christian. Now, I wonder if uh, if Esther could read the scripture for us that we are going to be looking into the whole, the whole idea of persistence in faith. Faith is only proven by patience and persistence, but we must have good grounds for persistence. We don't, uh, we, we, we don't want to have an empty hope. We want to have a hope that does not make us ashamed. So Esther, would you read that little excerpt from 2 Corinthians chapter 6 for us, please? No problem. So it says there, God says, I heard you at the right time and I gave you help on the day of salvation. I tell you that the right time is now. The day of salvation is now. We don't want people to find anything wrong with our work. So we do nothing that will be a problem to others. We show that we are servants of God. We never give up, even though we face troubles, difficulties and problems of every kind. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2 to 4. Thank you so much, Esther. Now, look, as we come to closure, uh, a little bit of a surprise thing for you is that our chairman wants to address our way of life campaign leaders. Our chairman, Gary Allen, former chairman of the Navigators, currently chairman of the Australian Institute of Family Counselling. Uh, he wants to address our campaign leaders or those who are assistant campaign leaders or those who have been involved in a campaign on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. If you can't make it, do not be concerned. We will follow you up with a view to having another meeting on the Monday night, although the chairman will only come by way of a recording at that time. So Gary Allen, our chairman, wants to address uh, all of our leaders or as many as can make it Wednesday night, this Wednesday night coming. Uh, at 8 p.m. Uh, there are a number of uh, things we've got to address in terms of the way we position ourselves in the public arena. And certain things have come to the light recently which show us that we have to build in certain safeguards for our workers uh, because there are traps that the enemy might like to lay for us. And so we've got to be well prepared to actually counter those. 
Uh, if anyone thinks it's going to be just all beer and skittles out there, uh, it, we've had a very good time for the most part, but uh, we need to make sure that our people are well covered for situations that are unpredictable. And you might remember the words of the Lord Jesus, I'm sending you as sheep amongst what? Can anyone tell us? Wolves. Wolves. Uh, wolves. Someone, someone was pretty quick with that one. And uh, sheep amongst wolves. And <laughs> we are to be as wise as what? Serpents and harmless as doves. Yeah. Very good. Very good. You see, so, so there's plenty of things. And, of course, you remember that the Lord Jesus himself was very much aware of what was in the hearts of the Pharisees. Do you remember that? And they tried to trip him up legally and in a number of other ways. And so we're going to be covering off on some of those matters on Wednesday night. If you can't make it, don't worry. If you want to send a little apology, we'll follow through with you, but we'll follow through with you anyway, because Lorraine very diligently has got the names of all of those who've been involved to, as far as we know, uh, in way of life campaigns of one kind or another. So this will be very helpful. It'll be very simple. A little Fading bit of them. stuff, nothing terribly much, but um, uh, and see that everyone's properly uh, geared up to handle the type of environment we believe we're moving into in terms of the way of the world out there. So we just want to be prepared. So God bless you, everyone. Uh, Thank you so much. Tony, can I, just, can I just say something, Tony, please? Of course, Lorraine, of course. Yes. Um, so it's only for team leaders, that meeting. It's only All for team leaders, been, not for every soul been. winner. Yeah. And it's also 8 o'clock Sydney time, so you'll have to calculate your own time. At 5 p.m. Now, if you've been a, a leader in the past or you've deputised for someone, like I know AK has been a leader uh, from time to time, and uh, Rasheen might have a, you know, someone else who yes, steps Mary. in uh, from yeah. time to time. So that sort of person should come along. So they're in the picture. Uh, and uh, Yvonne, this would be a good opportunity if we can somehow get uh, the likes of uh, Anne Mills and um, and Vonnie Vitus, who are very, very effective soul winners uh, uh, online for us. And can I just say that sometimes, although many of our people would not be aware of it, there are times where I have to handle problematic issues they can be quite prepossessing and sometimes quite worrisome. And I want to thank uh, um, Steve Ladd and Diane in particular and Charmaine for praying with me over a difficult situation that recently arose. So we're very grateful for that. When we're in Kempsey, I don't want to over-dramatise this, but isn't it interesting? This is very interesting. When we're in Kempsey, Roger will tell you that we had uh, two young witches standing not far away from where we were presenting the gospel whispering curses at us is that right roger yeah. tell us about that wow yeah i didn't see it but i heard the story that that's what they were doing they were um trying to disrupt the activities but i think it only made the um it only made the light of jesus shine more brightly <laughs> and the gospel Amen. penetrate more effectively <laughs> that's what i that was my take on it indeed and and thanks for that roger because that's a very good note for us to conclude of conclude on i should say and that is that when the enemy comes in like a flood the lord will raise up a standard against him and and the interesting thing is that when persecution in various forms comes the church is not reduced it starts to increase it's, it's a, a relentless turn of events that defies all imaginings and that's why saint paul says um uh, we have much sadness, but we are always rejoicing. We are poor, but we're making many people rich in faith. We have nothing, but really we have everything. So uh, that's because we are connected to the divine. We are connected to God himself. The light that is in us is the light of Jesus Christ, and it's shining forth. So we want to thank everyone for their involvement. Miriam, you will get your order shortly. I'm getting on to that. And... Um, and I just want to thank uh, publicly Ken Halliday for helping me with the statistics. And uh, the, and then um, we, we've done a statistical summary. I won't bore you with all the details, but we estimate that we've done something like 22,000 presentations, partial or full, which suggests that we have approached over 100,000 people in the last five years, starting off with our four campaigns in April 2018. So we are... We are 
going up and up and up in in uh, as the Lord energizes what we're doing. And the enemy is a bit worried about that. So that's why we need to press on. So glory to God. Uh, Charmaine, are you going to pick someone to close in prayer for us tonight? I'd be delighted if you do that for us. You'll need to unmute, of course. <clears throat> Um, I'd like to ask if she would, Kay Walsh, who is um, in Queensland on the Ignite prayer group, if she would like to uh, make a closing prayer for us tonight, Kay. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your presence that is with us, always abiding, never leaving us, and always being our strength and power as we go forth. I thank you for uh, all that you're doing throughout everyone's life and the way you're raising everyone up to be stronger and more powerful in the presentation of what we're doing. We thank you, Lord, for Tony and the family. And we pray your protection and uh, all around them, Lord, all that they do. Be your, may they continually know that we are holding them up in prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this man and his family. We thank you for the vision. We thank you that we are all part of this vision in behind, upholding and seeing many souls come to know the Lord. Lord, we just give the praise and the glory tonight for this time that we've been able to share together. We thank you for to be reminded again that we are the light of the world now. Mm -hmm. You have put it on our shoulders to stand up and let our light so shine before all men. And so, Lord, I thank you so much that as we come together, it helps us to burn our lights brighter and to keep pressing forward. doesn't matter which corner of the world we're in. We still are that light shining and in we come together the light even gets brighter so we have thank you lord for the, all that you've done tonight all that you've put into our hearts and that as we go forth from this place till we meet again we thank you for your presence that is ever abiding with us and we give you the glory and the honor in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. 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 i'm just going to ask esther as she concludes the recording to uh, take up the after chat if she's able and also to record who left us with request for those booklets so that we can get mailed out in over the course of the next week Tony, I, I, uh, just like this just a, a real quick thing i don't mean to butt in but i would like i i would um something tells me that uh this uh, movement is probably the the largest soul winning movement in australia well, we, we don't know for sure. We, we just don't know any statistics. But I have heard from the former CEO of the Pocket Testament League that he felt that uh, we were very noticeable in what we're doing, very noticeable indeed, and that's that's a good thing. But, of course, that attracts the attention of the enemy as well. So we need to be more earnest, the more earnest prayer. And it is, it is a miracle to have uh, old friends like Jeff Oslin, for example, involved and uh, newcomers uh, from places like Charters Towers all over Australia. So let's just press on, friends, and see what God will do uh, because he has a mighty agenda in place that the gospel may be preached throughout all this nation and all the nations, and then shall the end come. So glory to God, we're in the last days mm -hmm. of and we need to do this uh, with uh, great aplomb, I believe. Mm -hmm. Over to you, Esther. Thank you very kindly. No worries. Thank you very much. Thanks, Larry, for those comments. Certainly, it seems that way, that there is certainly a, a movement and definitely a, a busy space we are and getting a lot of people in the uptake and praise God for all those souls being um, uh, out there in the community. So thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. It's wonderful to see so many of you being a part of it. I see a few new faces as well, which is fantastic to see. Uh, we had over 50 people. Uh, screens on there so it's fantastic to see we would love for you to join us again we're back in in two weeks time so if you would like to stick around we're just having an after chat which is an informal way of sharing and encouraging one another so for those which have to leave i thank you all